Hello. In this video, we're going to be discussing the difference between one, two, and three pole condenser contactor relays and whether or not you should change the number of poles on your contactor when replacing it. We'll start off with the one pole contactor. It's called one pole because it has one shunt here, or a depressible button, which means that the wire on the bottom of this side of the contactor passes voltage straight from the bottom to the top uninterrupted. But on this side, the voltage is broken by the shunt or the button here until it is depressed. Now when the thermostat tells the air conditioner to come on, it will energize the contactor coil, which will create a magnetic field and pull the shunt or button down, creating an electrical connection that will allow the voltage to go from the bottom to the top and cause your unit to run. So that's a one pole contactor. A two pole contactor is the exact same thing except you have two shunts or two buttons on this one. So when the contactor is energized, you have both buttons coming down at the exact same time. When it's not energized, you have no voltage reaching the top of the contactor on either side. And I'm sure you're seeing the pattern here for the three pole contactor, it's the exact same thing. You have three different shunts inside. Now this is a sealed contactor, so you can't see inside of it. But when energized, the button here will push all three contacts down at the same time, allowing voltage on all three connections to reach the top at the same time. So then the only other question is, can you or should you change the number of poles in your unit when you change the contactor? If you have a three-pole contactor, then you have a three-phase system, and you can't change down to a single or a double pole. It just won't work. If you have a single or double pole contactor, it makes no sense. You don't need to go to a three-pole contactor. It's just more expensive. But when dealing with the single and doubles, in 95% of the applications, you actually can swap these out for each other, and you'll notice no difference in your unit's operation. But there really is no need to change them out. So I recommend that you stick with whatever the manufacturer put into your air conditioner to begin with, and that way you'll avoid being part of the 5% who have trouble when you switch them out. And sticking with what you originally had isn't a problem because at North America, HVAC.com, we have a uh, contactor for every application. And if you need help finding your contactor, you can drop us an email at info at NorthAmericaHVAC.com and we'll be happy to have someone look it up for you and send you a link directly to the one that you need to get up and running again. Just be sure when you contact us to give us the brand and the model number of your unit. If you have the part number of the contactor, that always helps too. Or if you want something more quick, you can reach us during the hours of 8 to 4 Eastern Time at the live chat button at the center of our home screen and we'll have the same specialist there ready to help you and send you a link to your contactor in real time. So I hope that helps and good luck with your unit.